Hey guys, Eddie from Harlem Bling, and today we're going to have a showdown. Box clasps versus lobster clasps. Pros, cons, what's better, why? Guys, I need your comments down below. It's It really bo boils down to personal opinion, but there's some major pros and cons. This is really just applicable to Miami Cuban chains. For those of you that don't know, if you've been living under a rock, this is a Miami Cuban link chain. They're circles that are oval, and they're kind of intertwined. So, why only Miami Cubans? Ropes, Figaro, Franco, other designs of chains are almost always found in lobster clasps. Miami Cuban is the only design that we could make a box clasp. Now, these two chains are exact same thickness. They're both 10 millimeters. Which one is more expensive? The box clasp is. By around 50 bucks or so. Why? Because there's a lot more labor involved into making this clasp and then soldering it together. Because remember, there's no gaps. All the links are soldered. This takes a lot more work. Making sure that it snaps perfectly in, polishing the sand, making sure that this is on a perfect level takes a lot of labor this we just have to make a chain put the end pieces put on a lobster clasp so this is a pro for the lobster clasp i think it wins you save some money when you're wearing it like this you really can't tell the difference comfort i would say the lobster clasp wins again this is much more flat, so when you're wearing it against your neck, it doesn't scratch, nothing sticks out. This has a little bit of a box. It, it's a little heavier against your neck. Same with your hand. This is a lobster clasp. If you work with your hands a lot, the lobster clasp is better. It's more comfortable for everyday wear. This is the box clasp. As you can see, it's a little more chunky. So it can get in your way a little more day to day. So again, that's a win for the lobster clasp. We're at two points for the lobster, one point for the box. Now, durability. Hands down a win for the box clasp. This chain is not going anywhere. Once these two safety clasps are put in and this clicks in, even without the safety, once you... Have that click, it's not going anywhere. You can pull on this chain all day long. Your neck will go somewhere before this chain goes. Lobster clasps, the O-ring is a weak spot in it. We do solder our O-rings. This is also a weak spot. The spring sometimes breaks on them. Again, at Harlem Bling, we offer accidental protection. But... If you want a chain to last a lifetime, definitely this. So far, two points to one. Looks. Listen. Very subjective opinion. Nobody gets a point. Some people like this look. Some people like this look. This is more of a classic Miami Cuban look. Some people love the more simple. I personally... I'll rock this. I think this is very simple, especially on smaller chains or bracelets. It's a very classic, simple look. If you want something to stand out a little more, get the box clasp. With a box clasp, you can even ice it out. Put some moissanites on the clasp, stand out even more. So it does give you some options. In terms what you should get. Again, guys very personal opinion i think that me personally on small chains i like a lobster clasp bigger i'll go for a cuban there's other little pros and cons to your unique situation this chain is easier to fit pendants on because it's not as thick you have to remember when you're getting a box clasp this is a 10 millimeter box clasp over here it's around 14 millimeters so you have to be careful with what pendants will fit on it. Overall, whatever you guys like, that's what you should get. Comment down below. 
Until next time, Eddie from Harlem Bling.